Welcome into the Hyundai Studios here on S2HD.com. I'm Will Ewick, joined alongside Ryan Cavanaugh. We thought we'd do something a little different this week and give you our Coin Toss article in a video form. Coin Toss is an article we do every single week where we take opposing views. We've done everything from Julio Jones versus Roddy White to the Seattle defense versus the 49ers defense. This week we're talking about wide receivers. The consensus 1-2, and two, Andre Johnson and Larry Fitzgerald taking in every draft 1-2, and two, underperforming, Ryan, both in the 20s. You think Andre Johnson's the guy, though, that's going to shoot back up in the top five at the end of the year? Yeah, well, I anticipate both these guys to be good performers, as they have been historically. However, if you're going to look at which one is going to be better, you have to look at their supporting cast. And for Houston, quarterback Matt Schaub's driving the bus. They've got Ben Tate and Arian Foster at running back, and then Owen Daniels has had a monster year. Arizona, they were unsettled at quarterback with Skelton and Cobb, and the running backs are a mess. Beanie Wells is out. Uh, the Rod Stevens Howlings has been out with a hip, and then Ryan Williams goes out last week with a shoulder injury or a concussion. A guy named William Powell's carrying the football for the Cardinals. Fitzgerald has Andre Roberts helping him out. I'm not a defensive coordinator in the NFL, but going forward, if I had to stop the Cardinals, I'm stopping Larry Fitzgerald. And with the Texans, it's pick your poison. I'm going to use that, but in the opposite way. I think there's so many weapons in Houston. You have, like you said, Owen Daniels, Andre Johnson. you got to give Arian Foster 20, 25 touches. You have to give Ben Tate 10, 12 touches. There's not enough touches to go around for Andre Johnson to get as much as Larry Fitzgerald. He's going to get his. Don't get me wrong. He's a great receiver. But Larry Fitzgerald is the Arizona Cardinals offense. They're going to target him like they did last week against the Rams 15 times. He's going to see those targets. And you also look at the Houston Texans as a good team, a team that's going to be up late in games, running out the clock. They play that clock management, good defense, run the ball. The Cardinals are going to be throwing. You and I both know junk time is important time for fantasy players. And that junk time when the defense is playing prevent, you throw those little ones over the middle, they run 15 yards afterwards, those add up. That's going to add up for Larry Fitzgerald. I'm going to take that point and go in the opposite direction as well, Will, because historically, if you look at the best teams in fantasy, they have the best players. How many of you out there have had great success with Cleveland Browns players? Not very many because the Browns aren't very good. The Texans are arguably the best team in the NFL. We saw the Cardinals last week become the real Cardinals. Not a 4-1 team, but a team that scores three points against the Rams. And going forward, if you look at their schedule, Seattle, St. Louis, and the Niners, those pass defenses all rank better than anybody in the te Texans conference. So the Texans, while they are a better team, that's going to mean that Andre Johnson's going to have a better year. The Arizona Cardinals are in a rough division, but it's a rough rush defensive division. you got the Seattle Seahawks, as you said, the 49ers. These are teams you cannot run on, and you cannot run on with William Powell. The running backs banged up. They're going to throw, 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 because that's all they can do. And as I said before, Larry Fitzgerald's the guy getting the ball. I also want to look at speed for a second. Both great talents. you got to give Andre Johnson his. He's a big guy. But Larry Fitzgerald's got the quickness. And when you get double teams, when you get that safety shifting, quickness is what's going to beat that. If you've got time to pull that double move, Larry Fitzgerald, bigger plays down the road. I think Larry Fitzgerald's higher up. They're both going to be higher up than they are right now at the end of the season, but Larry Fitzgerald's the guy. I hope you're right that speed can beat double teams because that's all Larry Fitzgerald's going to see from here on out. Thanks very much for tuning in. For Ryan Cavan, I'm Will Uick reminding you, get on S2HD.com, click on the Fantasy tab on the top of the page for all of our content. It's your fantasy. We just happen to be in it.